Hi, I'm Vicki Anderson from Machine Quilting Unlimited Magazine, and here we are on the last day of International Quilt Festival with Linda Taylor. Linda, can you tell us about your experience this year and what's going on at festival? Well, this year um, I was lucky enough to be in charge of the long arm classes, and they have just filled beautifully all of the classes. We had 45 classes during this week and the students have been so excited. All of the students that have come to our booth have just been thrilled with the classes. Yeah, we just have a wonderful teaching staff and so that's been very fun. I just finished my last class and, and uh, it's kind of sad in a way, but you know, it's over and I'm excited about that too. Can you tell us about the classroom setups? I know it's unusual here. It is, um, we've had 18 gamel heads in one classroom oh. for the hands-on classes and um, nine tables and so I think that's what's the most exciting part for the students they get to actually practice what they're learning and you know make sure that they get a couple of hours of really good quilting and they're not having to line up for a chance to use the no. machines gamel no. has been so generous no. with it's been wonderful and then of course we have a a gamel machine in the demo room and so you know the demos and the lectures have gone very well as as well what's your most memorable moment of this year oh my goodness um, I, I think the awards ceremony was probably the most memorable for me this and year. And Linda was a judge this year for the show, and the judging was outstanding. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but seeing everyone so excited about their awards and yeah. um, seeing so many of my, of my friends, uh, long arm people, yeah. who are really making a difference in this uh, wonderful quilting world. And you must have been excited to see Sue McCarty's quilt come through there. Oh, I, yes. Her quilt is just awesome, and she's just the sweetest um, gal, yes. you know. So um, I, I think we all have a lot to learn from her. And Linda, do you have any quilts in the show? You know what? Um, surprisingly, I do. They're not in the judged area, uh -huh. but they're in the Saforsky Crystal area. I have oh. two new show quilts, and um, Sherry Meineke Johnson did the uh, design and the applique, and then I did the quilting, and she put there, on one of them 22,000 crystals. And, and I've seen just, that quilt, and we want to talk sparkle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really, they're really, really pretty. But beyond that, I also was really surprised because I knew that I was going to have one uh, quilt in the new Texas Museum. Yes. And so in that book and in the displays, um, I knew that Magic Carpet was going to be in there, the one I did with Sherry Meineke Johnson. Uh -huh. But I also, when I opened the book, found out that the supper quilt the, is in yes. there. And I'm excited about that, and that's here in the show. And then I also did one with the Francis Snay, and that one is in the book as well. So oh, that's, I, that's just really cool. This morning I was walking with our managing editor, Kit Robinson, and she stopped in her tracks and said, what's that Last Supper quilt? She had never seen it. Oh, wow. And she, we, I got to tell her the story of Linda Taylor and the Supper quilt. So yeah. it, it's really made an impact on a lot of people. Cool. Well, it was fun to have that here. So thanks well, for Well, great. Being well, so we hope to see you again next year and uh -huh. join us all in Houston.